for some insight on uh, Alan's smileogy. Yeah. So uh, what are we talking about? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> this guy was doing. Uh, this guy was doing research on smileogy when I showed him. That's dedication. Yeah, but uh, tell us what you know. So uh, he played a season uh, with the uh, Sacramento or Santa Cruz Warriors. Uh, he came from uh, Serbia. Uh, he's a six foot ten forward center, kind of in that range. Uh, he stretched the floor a lot. Uh, he can shoot the three ball at twenty five percent clip, roughly. Shoot it when he's open. He, he's hit a couple when he's been. Right there yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, I got you real quick. Let's see. Yeah, hold on, let me, uh, let me pull this up real quick. Yep, um, I was watching some of his Serbian highlights mostly. Um, like I said, he has a knack for being around the basket too. Uh, he averaged about two offensive rebounds a game, so. Uh, In 17 minutes, you said. Exactly, about 17 and a half minutes per game. Not bad. Nine and a half points, uh, four Loonious. rebounds in total. Not quite Lunius. No, exactly, but he, he, he kind of reminds me a little bit of Jokic. Uh, has some of that game in him. Plays with the back to the basket, but he can also take it on a drive. So the Warriors got the 41st pick. They bought it from Atlanta. Yeah, they did. Guess, guess who for number, cash. Guess who for was cash. A Serbian that was number 41. Is this also uh, Jokic as well? It's just eerie. Isn't well, it? if, there, if, there's, if there's any proof in history, then this might be it. Um, but as far as I can see, like I said, uh, he, he can play with his back to the basket. He can take it off the dri off the dribble. Um, the only problem is he has problems changing direction. I saw a lot of highlights of him losing losing handles. He tries to switch directions, so that might be an issue. But he's only 18 years old, so the upside here is pretty high. You know, he, it's a nice project for the Warriors to have right now. And not to mention, considering he's so young, you don't have to worry about you know giving too much of a load either. You know, you can put him right in. And considering just how uh, how shot this roster is right now, considering the injuries that they've suffered, uh, yeah, you gotta have someone that you can plug and play. And now that they have three picks, including this 41st overall pick, I I think I can see him going right around that range. He will go 40, 41 40 because first, well, they I, were thinking 58, but then now they're exactly. saying they got the 41 for that. So um, one thing one thing that, to note is they held him out of the showcase, uh, I believe, earlier. Jamie I think showcase. in late late 2018, they held him out of showcase. Kind of want to keep him a little bit of a secret here. So I think the reason why they got the 41st pick is they want to trade. They, they wanted to make sure that he didn't go before the 58th pick. I think that's why they, they traded the cast. I think, what, $1.3 million? For that yeah, pick, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty cheap, actually. Yeah. So yeah. Considering um, Jordan Bell is like three point five. Uh, yeah, but they traded up into the high in the second round for that. Yeah. Well, um, he was thirty eight. That exactly. Forty one is pretty close. Yeah, but as we know, anyway. only a couple picks make make a hell of a lot of difference in this draft. Yeah. Considering there's only two rounds and sixty picks in, in general. Um, so yeah, I, I I wouldn't mind this pick. Not to mention they also have experience with him. Considering that he wasn't their G League affiliate team, so I could see this actually being an intelligent pick for them right now. Okay. All right. Thanks, man. I'm gonna do my rounds. Cool. Show these guys around. It's all good. Six people are on right now. We're gonna take care, guys. Enjoy. Yeah. CJ Peterson of the San Francisco Examiner. Clock <laughs> started. Right now? I won't get one. Yeah, oh, like, what? Yeah, after three. So whatever. I might, I might go after because I have to get articles for each of the three picks and I have to do a roundup at the end. So okay. I'm going to be uh, clacking away on this thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're, you got to clack away on this. Smiling. Everything. Yeah. Everything. So we'll see. Right now, you got a runway leading up to 28, right? Well, you know, I've been, like I said, I've been, I've been watching this highlights all damn day, so we'll see what happens. Hey, uh, looking for someone to go with me to Starbucks for the happy hour. If I won't get one, I'm frappuccino. Or whatever. Uh, where at? Starbucks. Where's the closest runway? Two blocks, but if you're, if you're stuck, you're stuck. I think I'm stuck. Yeah, I know. So it doesn't be certain here. <laughs>
I think I'm stuck. I don't know. I don't know exactly when my windows are. Yeah. Okay. I'm supposed to go over there. Oh, hey. JD John Dickinson. How's it going? Good to see you. Yeah. Cool stuff, Paul. I think Zion's going number one. Yeah, you think? I predict Zion Williamson number one. Do you, do you get a promise? <laughs> All right. Cool. The, uh, oh, look at that. They have the new logo. Um, Bob Myers will be up on that podium later after they put the light. But, uh, see, New Orleans is on the clock. Uh, but Woj and Sam, Shams, Shams, Trani, they have already announced that the uh, top three picks are already sealed, done deal. Number one, Zion. Number two is uh, John Morant going to Memphis. And number three is R.J. Barrett going to the Knicks. And number four, I, th I think there may, may have been a trade. Um, but let's take a look at this. New Warriors logo. I don't know if you guys heard, but slight change modification the Bay Bridge is more of a, an exact replica type thing um, and you can see the typeface is slightly different um, looking at the yeah it's in, yeah remember how the um, logo had, uh, kind of a curve right here it's not curvy anymore right here not curvy so um, and all the writers waiting for stuff to happen. Rusty Simmons. Hey, are you are you swamped until for a while? No, because um, they got uh, Starbucks happy today. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go in like Okay, okay. You wanna go with? Give me a holler, let me let me see where we are right then. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. yeah. Yeah, I'll see. Yeah, exactly. Hey, man. It's the man that found the smile jig. <laughs> smile jig. Smile jig. Yeah, I'm on, uh, I'm on Twitch right now. This is Connor Letourneau. What's up? What's up? Yeah, yeah. He's the guy. Uh, if they pick him 41, pay to this. Yeah. I uh, do think they're going to pick him. You blow him up. Okay. Yeah. I like him a lot. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we, just, we just saw some highlights thanks to CJ. This guy is so unique. I mean, I, I have his body type, and even bigger, actually, than Charles Barkley. One of the greatest of all time, Hall of Famer. His game at the moment is a full of Microphone. Microphone. Four of you guys left. Okay. Zion is one. Jaw is two. And three will be R.J. Barrett. Number four is going to be... Um, if you look at Twitter here, Twitter's blowing up. Um, Woj must follow for this type of stuff. Minnesota is engaged in multiple conversations on the number six pick acquired in the deal with Phoenix. Okay. Um... Cleveland is entertaining offers for the number five pick. Minnesota has traded number 11 and Dario Sarek to Phoenix for number six. Wow. And right, right. The Pelicans had number four from the Anthony Davis trade. And they went around and turned it around to Atlanta. 
Atlanta will pick uh, DeAndre Hunter. So that's coming up at number four. Pretty much done deal because it's Woj reporting it. So you see a lot of stuff happening really quick. Um, so we will come back when we go 28. Uh, NBA Draft, nbadraft.net is my go-to for this type of stuff. And they have us, meaning the Warriors, picking 28th, and now they've changed it to Dylan Windler. So I'm going to go tweet that out from Belmont. Okay. And that's the guy I talked about my last, um, my last stand-up was that guy from Belmont. So I'm going to go tweet that out, and uh, that's it. And I'll leave you with Zion. Remember, I uh, keep my streams going for a few minutes after because uh, the uh, Twitch recording of the live stream tends to cut off. So I don't want to cut myself off there. And uh, I'm going to cut off Zion, if, if anything. end the stream right after the Zion interview right here. CJ, better, better do some research on this guy. Dylan Windler. Yeah, because uh, NBA draft, they had uh, Stanford's guy. But, but then uh, Woj tweeted out that that guy was moving up the draft boards from 28 to like 10 to 19. So, so then these guys updated it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there it is. Jeremy Wu also predicted that. So 
Anybody else predict that? Yeah. Right, Ty Jerome was the other one. Yeah, and Matisse of uh, Washington. Let's zoom in on that Matisse guy. Out of Washington? Yeah, because I've seen that name a couple times. We'll see.